Hey guys, welcome back. Here we are, Genesis chapter 29, 30, and 31. We're just walking through the Bible. So today is about Jacob and Rachel. All right, so this guy Laban does a little trick on Jacob and gets him to do something very strange. So I'm glad you guys are here. Now, I remember uh, a little while back, I went to a swimming pool in a local area and uh, you know, you kind of have some fun with people. You know, you probably want to want to play a trick on them, right? So this was just kind of fun. This is something that I did. I remember putting this hat on and just kind of walking around. And you, it is weird because you get strange looks. I, I don't know what it's. I don't know why it's a good looking hat, right? Black kind of goes with everything, but some and the white does too. It's a really nice hat. But um, anyway, it's not true. But it was fun to watch people's reactions when you play a little trick on them here and there, right? So let me tell you a little story here that uh, was a trick that went a little crazy, right? So when Isaac and Rebekah sent Jacob away from his home in the promised land of Canaan to escape the wrath of his brother Esau, Rebekah expected him to be gone for, I don't know, a few days, maybe a few weeks, just until Esau had just calmed down, all right? But days had passed and then weeks and then months, and then like 20 years have gone by. So a few days have turned into 20 or so years that this boy has been away from home. <laughs> Man, let's take, let's take a look at what happened during this, this 20 year period, because the Bible tells us. So Jacob traveled from Bethel towards his uncle Laban's land. He came to a well where shepherds were watering their sheep. Right. The shepherds were from Haran. Uh, do you know a man named Laban? Jacob asked. Uh, yes, and they did. Here comes his daughter Rachel with his sheep. Here comes his daughter Rachel with his sheep. Okay, everything seems to be going well, right? Rachel brought the sheep to the well and Jacob gave them water. Jacob told Rachel that he was her relative, a son of Rebekah. So Rachel ran to tell her father Laban. I, I, I guess excited about that. Hey, we've got family, distant family. Hey, they're here. So uh, Laban welcomed Jacob into his house. Jacob stayed with Laban and worked for him. All right. After about a month, Laban said, uh, what should I pay you for your work? Now, Laban had two daughters. This is key. The older was named Leah and the younger was Rachel. So like Princess Leah, but Leia, Lee, I don't know, all of Star Trek is the same. I'm just kidding, Star, Star Wars. So we'll just go Leia, Leah, what should we go with? Let's do Leah so we don't get sidetracked by Leia. That's right, okay, so Leah. And then the younger one was Rachel. I don't have a good movie to go along with Rachel, so we'll just, stick, we'll just keep going. Jacob loved Rachel, so he said, I will work for you seven years if you will let me marry Rachel. And Laban agreed. So Jacob worked for seven years. Remember, mom's waiting a few days. No, now it's been a little while. Now it's about to be seven years. Jacob worked for seven years, but he loved Rachel so much that seven years seemed like just a few days to him, a few seconds, right? Then Laban had a feast, a big party, but instead of giving Rachel to Jacob, as promised, Laban gave his older daughter, Leah, but this is the wrong daughter, right? He gave the older daughter to Jacob instead of the younger daughter who Jacob loved. This was a trick. This was a, this was a bad trick, all right? This is the wrong person here, right? Jacob was super duper upset. Why'd you trick me, right? He asked. Laban said, around here, the older daughter must be married before the younger daughter. I, I will give you Rachel too, but you must work another seven years. So if we add seven plus seven, we're now on like 14 years, right? And if this is the case, he's about to have two wives. All right, this is crazy stuff. Old Testament Genesis stuff. So a week later, Jacob married Rachel. Then he worked for Laban seven more years. Now, Jacob had two wives, but he loved Rachel more than Leah. Well, it makes sense, you hate to hear it, but that's what the Bible says. When God saw Leah was not loved, he gave her children. 
So Rachel wanted children too. God heard her prayer and in time, God gave her children as well. In all, Jacob had 12 sons, okay? Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Dan, Naphtali, 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 that's it, Gad, Asher, Isaacar, Zebulun, aren't you? Zebulon, aren't you glad you don't have these names? Like we just at least have John and Tim, right? Uh, and then Joseph, who's a name to remember, we'll hear that one later, and Benjamin. So God told Jacob to go home to the land of Canaan. So Jacob gathered his family and his possessions and he headed home. That's good, like, right? Happy story. Well, let's connect it back to Jesus. There's some trickery going on here. He's got two wives. There's a lot of children now, a blessing that came out of that trick, right? Jesus connection right here. Nothing could stop God's plan for the family of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Even though Jacob did not love Leah, God loved her and used her in his plan. Through the family of Jacob and Leah's son, Judah, God would show his love for the whole world by sending his son to be the savior that he promised. So God is amazing and he can use anything to accomplish his will and his plan. We will see you guys next time.